So this is the PC review for Speed Kills. Somewhat of an RC program kind of game, or a super off-road a little bit. It does not support controller. You play this using the keyboard, which is pretty crappy to begin with. You're gonna use up to go, uh, the up arrow to go faster, accelerate down to decrease your acceleration, left and right to turn. And as you turn left and right, the car kind of brings you back to center. So if I tap left, I'm not gonna constantly go straight left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of be gravitated towards the center of the the road. So it's kind of good because you're using left and right, you know, because you can't. If you hold down left, obviously you'll go left, but you're gonna be pulled towards the center of the road. So it's kind of like a driving assist. You're also gonna use Control, Alt, and Shift for your nitro and other weapons. They're not being able to use a controller with this is kind of crappy, but it's not that great of a game that I feel, you know, you're missing out. They they really could have done a lot more with this game, and it's kind of a shame. Like you can see there, that rocket chased me down, and I was going I was going using my nitro, and it chased me down. Uh, so that's kind of a problem. There's a bunch of other problems. So here, this is the garage. You can go ahead. You can see the different vehicles you can purchase. Each vehicle is going to be what you're going to use in the next race. So as you play a lot, you get money, and you upgrade your um, your each vehicle you buy, and you can change the paint because that's cool. Uh, but also ammo, which is another problem with this game. You buy ammo for your vehicle, which is fine, okay. But say you just raced, and you used all of your ammo in that race. You don't start with more ammo in that second race. You have to either pick it up during the race with a power-up, or you have to purchase it like we just saw in the garage. I don't like that. Uh, I would rather start off the games, you know, like a kind of like a demolition derby kind of, you know, a battling. And I feel that I have to go now, I have to take myself out of the game, go into the garage to buy ammo, or hopefully pick it up in the game. I, I don't like it. It's too, it doesn't flow. The fluidity of the game just isn't there. And another problem with that is the power-ups. So the power-ups are very difficult to pick up because the game's very difficult for one to not be in last place or, you know, not to not lose. So with that said, the AI tries to stay in the center of the lane because, well, that's kind of the best place to be. But it's also the best place to be because that's where most, that's where all of the power-ups go. All the power-ups spawn in the center of the road. And being that it's a somewhat of a difficult game, the AI is always going to be ahead of you and the AI is always going to be in the center of the lane. So it's difficult to pick up power-ups. Uh, it's not like Mario Kart where you have like the three power-ups and you can kind of, you know, um, everyone's going to get a power-up. They don't respawn fast enough. If you were in a tight tight position, like tight you're in 10th place or last place, you're not going to get a power-up. It's really, really rare. Uh, and that's a shame because I feel if this game had more power-ups, it wouldn't be so bad. The game, like I said, it is a fun game for a little bit of time. But that's a really big negative. I'm playing the game because I want to shoot rockets and machine guns and other cars. And you're eliminating how many bullets and rockets I shoot at them. Because the racing isn't great because I'm using a keyboard. You know, if I could use a controller, then maybe. But I just feel, give me more ammo. Give, make it easier to get ammo. Make it easier to get these power-ups. You can see this guy's got a shield here. It's really cool, but I, I don't know. Um, the roads are kind of fun. The courses are kind of cool because there's a lot of turns and twists and... The elevations in, in the, the road changes, so you do have some jumps, and it's not just always just straight sail, which adds some difficulty to it, which is cool. But being that it's already difficult to pick up power-ups, you can see that guy just flew off the side of the road there because he like crashed into the back of me. That's neat. That's cool, but just not enough. Uh, this game could use a lot more work, and I think it would be a, a absolute purchase. And don't get me wrong. This game is has very good structure to be a great game. It just... they I feel that like they stopped making it, you know? They should have play tested this a little bit better, and it would have been a, a fun game, a really fun game. Add co-op or, you know, a two-player mode, uh, support a controller, make the power-ups a little easier to get so there are more power-ups. Like, I just feel there's no, there is no catch-up mechanic, which is great because I hate games that have catch-up mechanics, but I just feel that the AI is just so much better than you, and it's difficult to catch them. Even with a fully upgraded vehicle, um, or a more upgraded vehicle, because it's not fully upgraded, but more upgraded vehicle, I still feel that I'm far behind the AI and have a difficult kind of catching them. With that said, this is Speed Kills. I like it, but it does need more work. Um, being able to get more power-ups, being able, maybe a little bit better AI. You can see in one of the earlier scenes, I just kind of crashed to AI car and he just kind of stays there and I'm trying to get around him and he 
you have to respawn. Uh, and the courses are fun. The courses are, are cool. They're different. However, when you change, like, you can see that's just kind of the first race in the game. I only unlocked the second race. I only played this for about two and a half hours, and I figured that was enough I could do. It just doesn't feel different either. The second world, it's pretty much this first world, but green, like moss on the stage. So not getting super far in the game, I can't comment if, it's, if it changes enough, but I know the second race is not enough of a change. So that's the review for Speed Kills. And while it does look really good visually, I would much rather go in the closet, pull my NES out, and play some RC Param 1 or 2 over this game. The game, it's, it's, I'm sorry to say it, but I wish they had a few more hours to work on this game as it would be really good, but it's, it's really lackluster right now. I would definitely say skip it.